And he's this big 100 pound dog that loves to snuggle. Like does, it doesn't have any idea that he's this big. We'll just lay right on top of you. Hi, I'm Tara Lipinski and this is my pet tale. Dublin is seven years old and he's a flat-coated retriever, which is, is a rare breed. You don't see so many of them. He kind of looks like a golden retriever mixed with Irish setter. He has beautiful hair, so I'm very jealous of his hair. Like I could cut it off and put it on my hair. It's like amazing and silky. He's got it all. For my birthday one year, I was begging for a dog. My parents were like, you travel too much. You cannot do this. You know, I'm a big dog lover. But my schedule was so crazy, my parents would have to take care of them. And they're like, you're old, we're not taking care of your dog anymore. And then um, on my birthday, the doorbell rang and my dad walked in with Dublin, who was this big, wrapped in a little blue blanket. And it was obviously the best birthday ever. I think it was, you know, a few years in where, you know, I was in my 20s when I got him and we lived in LA, we lived in New York, we moved around together and he was just my constant buddy, whether it was, you know, if I was having a good day or a bad day or in a breakup or not, he was he was my guy. He was always there to make me feel better. He was always happy when I walked in the door and, you know, going through all those stages of life with him and all of those memories feel so special. And now that um, I'm married, my husband absolutely adores him. So he really is our child. He's, he's a huge part of our life. Dublin actually has been to the rink and he really wanted to get on the ice. So he's seen me skate. I don't know what he thinks about it. Um, he really just wanted to get on the ice. So that's another thing. He loves water. So if there's a pool, if there's a water bowl, like his whole head goes in it, you know, he just, he's not the dog that just like laps up water. Like he puts his paws, he like rolls, he, any water, you, like a puddle. And it's like, we beeline it to that. You know, we've tried to train him. Devlin, get your leash. So he's terrible when it comes to manners. He'll eat off your plate, he'll bark, but he's so adorable and he's so loving. If there's a chair, he'll he'll sit right on top of you and he's so happy all the time. He loves kids, he loves dogs, and his tail is always wagging. So waking up in the morning and coming down to, to Dublin uh, makes the day better. Is it time to go to the dog park? Is that where we're going? He runs over to you whether you call him or not. He's just always there waiting, like, what's going to go on? Where are we going, Mom? What are we doing? Like, let's go for a walk. He does this thing I find really cute. My husband and I call it rooing. It's like when he wants to talk to us, and he'll just like, roo, and he just keeps rooing, and it's ad adorable. I mean, to me, maybe not to other people, but we really like him. If Dublin could talk to me, I feel like he would just say, like, Mom, I love my life. I love waking up snuggling with you and I love dad but he'd probably say like why can't I eat the food you're eating I don't understand why can't I have breakfast like you do with real food and not just kibble Dublin has made my life better for so many reasons he has such a big personality and always so happy which makes me happy how can you not just smile when you look down and your dog is wagging his tail and just happy to be be living his day. Dublin's been through so many phases and changes in my life and I think dogs just always know when you need that extra snuggle and he's always been there and I'll laugh because I'll be having such a bad day and somehow he's right there and I almost feel like he's trying to make me feel better. But even getting married, he was in my wedding. Um, he ran down the aisle, of course he didn't walk. So like I said, he's not the most well-trained dog, but he's really cute. He's part of everything that we do. He travels with us. I can't imagine my schedule without him. And coming home to him and seeing him waiting at the door, so happy to see us. He's, he's everything to us. <laughs>